by the National Gender and Equality Commission and Collaborative Center for Gender and Development. This campaign sought to provoke, to provoke and sustain a transformative shift in perceptions towards GPV to a new level of orientation that affirmed accountability and sustainability. Today, I host another high-level partners, uh, high partners committed, committed to support my government on GBV prevention and response. It cannot be a coincidence that the second opportunity knocks on my office. I view this as a higher political calling on my commitment score sheet. Ladies and gentlemen, the privilege accorded to our county Samburu and Kilifi of the 47 counties is an opportunity worth utilizing. It comes when the recent Kenya Demographic Health Survey indicates Bungoma as GPV leading county. 60% besides leading in teenage pregnancy in the early KDA survey. So therefore this program is a timely intervention in strengthening our efforts, capacities as both duty bearers and partners within the GBV referral pathways. This program offers a unique and innovative collaborative model between the two levels of government and reaches out to members of the communities in ensuring that we have safe families and communities. Distinguished members, I created the Department of Gender, Culture and Youth and Sports with a view to strengthening, streamlining gender and related issues. I recognize the support this program accords the gender uh, directorates. Indeed, I have in instructed the department to undertake GBV mitigation measures within the national action framework and the best practice. Our efforts are tailored on the survivor-centered approaches, prevention mechanism, human rights approach, responsive justice systems, community-led approaches and collaborative efforts. I recognize that this program is equally tailored along these approaches. My government shall support and sustain these efforts and practice. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today I call upon the framers of this program to further collaborate with my government on responsive and transformative gender strategies geared towards equality, social justice, respect for the rights of women, men, girls and boys. I further call upon actions on unpaid domestic work which, which affect women as family caregivers. I believe we must all appreciate the role our mothers and sisters play in the family and community livelihoods. Ladies and gentlemen, my government will support efforts to end GBV. I hold the view that GBV interventions must be founded on the legislative agenda. The national laws exist which address GBV in the country. My government is in the process of finalizing the gender mainstreaming policy and SGBV bill. The proposed legislations provide for mechanisms on both preventive and responsive strategies. These documents provide for a proposed resource allocation component and contextualized GBV interventions suitable for Bungoma environment. However, the human conscience is mightier than the law. We have to make a deliberate choice to making our communities and homes safe. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the national government committed to end FGM by 2022, last year through the presidential order. The reason Bungoma County is identified to benefit from the program is about FGM practice in Mount Elgon. I am happy to note that the program has already made remarkable strides towards this direction. The involvement of the support Council of Elders, clan-based interventions, engaging women, circumcisers, and the exchange visits support el elders have had with Samburu Council of Elders is enough preparation towards the roadmap to the community declaration to end FGM in Mount Elgon. I am keen and proud to walk this, ro this road with the support community. I love such community-driven interventions and call upon the bilateral program management teams to focus more on the cross-border challenges and social-cultural factors that contribute to FGM prevalence in Mount Elgon. I like to partner with the Office of the Deputy Governor in this fight. The DG is an FGM survivor with wealth of experience and community experience in space. Ladies and gentlemen, as I end my remarks, let, let it not be lost on this program emerging GBV 
issues during emergencies. The recent COVID-19 pandemic bred unique challenges in the GBV space. I propose that this program develops and strengthens in the county coordination framework for GBV mitigation during emergencies. I will be happy that Bungoma County leads in this innovative front. I also trust that this program is a model strategy to benefit other counties in future and so therefore propose the place for the Council of Governors in the model to ensure sustainability of the program in the developed units. It cannot be stopped by anybody else. It can only be stopped by us. And like we say, it's a bottom-up approach. Nishukuru waze hawa. That is the way to go. In my previous life, you know, we, when I was in provincial administration, and I want also to urge you to support, we used to have difficulties sorting out problems, but any time we used elders, issues were sorted out. You can go there as a PC then, or a county commissioner, and a crown in Kwakichwa, and people will not listen to you. You need one respected muse to talk, and the situation will change. So I really want to loud the Wazes who are here, both the Sabos, the Bukusus, the Baturas, the council, the councils that we have here, that let us be in the forefront to fight these repugnant practices that are putting us in the long, wrong light. It is a shame that I preside over a county that is leading in gender violence. Look at me, do I look like a violent man? I am not a violent man. And like the, 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 the ambassador has said, you know, there is no pride in a man beating a woman. Go and beat your fellow man if you are man enough. And you don't get what you want to get by fighting. You negotiate. Talk. Use diplomacy. And I like what Anne said. She's a very strong lady from Cheptais. I've known her since my, those years when I was there. She was so accurate that those who are encouraging FGM go for those who have not been FGM. So what are you, why are you punishing people? It's against human rights. We must really stop it. And we must turn the figures in Bungoma. Last number two, let's, let's, let's excel in education. Let us be top in agriculture. Let us be top in health. Let us be top in all other things. But to be number one in violence is a total shame. We cannot allow that. It must stop. And you are going to help us stop it. Waziri, I want to thank you for finding time. When you see a whole cabinet secretary, she has another function today at three, and a whole ambassador come here in person, that shows you the seriousness with which they are taking this program. We don't take it for granted. And I will be following up with my great friend, the ambassador, to work out on the things that we have been requested. I think they are valid, valid points. They have asked for um, a cultural center in Mount Elgon, that will also collaborate with the national government and yourselves and we'll see whether we can also uh, put in some money. Then we must also encourage the alternative passage of, uh, passage of right of passage. I know like the masses have already adopted, instead of going for GM, they, 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 they have a, a, a adopted an alternative where the women are brought together, men are brought together, and then something else is done. Because we must also change to graduate from childhood to manhood or womanhood without going to those practices that are even dangerous. They have also asked for a hub center. I think we'll also see what we can do. And of course, there was a very ambitious request that they want to benchmark in Finland. I will discuss with the ambassador so that we can see. Maybe we can take Anna and one other lady to go and benchmark. And see. it is doable. Here in Awezekana, it's not impossible. Nikutafuta ticket, if it will bring, if it will add value. Nikutafuta ticket. We ended up being ambassador at the hotel. We were the ones who 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 were the and then early, early, early pregnancies. Your Excellency, our Ambassador and the Waziri, you know I was a PS in the Ministry of Livestock Development and I learned a lot that there are only two animals in the world that have sex for fun. Human beings and dolphins. The rest of the animals only made for reproduction. That is a fact. Human beings and dolphins. 
And Wazir was sharing, she was in Matungu campaigning, she saw very many people pregnant. The number of pregnant, women who were there, three quarters were pregnant. <laughs> Which means in the, in the, in the, in the, in the when they could put, uh, you know, enjoyment, you end up producing more. And you're also producing with people who are still underage. So you want to a channel and use all my practices so that what, if you engage in anything, let it be for reproduction. Lakin not just for leisure and I need to abide at the tea sheet and mingi. Niki Malizi as your governor. I want to add to a channel. I had called I had argued you last time that we this is time to progress. Let's move elections are behind us. The country is now moving forward. The, the government is doing what it can. I'm also doing what I can as your governor. So Mambo Yakusema to Rudi Barabara, I told you, if you want to go back to Barabara, first of all practice well, buy rubber shoes. Because it's not a job, you will run and run. So we already have a problem of GBV here. So why do we want to add another one going to Barabara and demonstrating when the Upigwe will rule in a match of Kamfu? I don't want to take more time. But my people are good people. They always listen to us, they listen to our leaders. Members of provincial administration these days is called national government through your county commissioner. Asante Nisana, we've not had a problem 